Guess what? Guess what? We're making a new terrarium today. So I have this old pickle jar that, as an experiment, I put a snake plant into. And as you can see, it just took off. It was just a tiny little bud. And it grew up into one of these. It looks like I got something else growing in there too. But we'll see. So let's take this out and we're going to build this into something much cooler. So first thing we're going to have to do is take this plant out. And it's growing a pretty good root structure so it might be a little bit difficult. Especially considering, well, well, hopefully I can get my hand back out. So let's just dip down in with my fingers, get underneath the roots, and pull it away. I'm, I can feel them breaking as I'm pulling, but there's, there we go. I still managed to keep quite a few of them. Now that I got that out, I need to remove all the old substrate, including the drainage layer, which I'll just sort out later. For now, I'm just going to dump it into this box, this bucket. Now that it's empty, I'm just going to clean it out real quick. Don't forget to clean up your mess. Now that we've got our workstation and our jar all cleaned up, first thing we're going to do is add our drainage layer. I'm using some Lika. Next we have to put our barrier layer. To do that, we're going to take our barrier, set it down, take a razor blade, and we're going to cut around the outside. Now this doesn't have to be pretty or perfect. Next we're going to put it in and put it how it needs to go. Now to help place it where it needs to go, I'm going to add a little bit of substrate and push it up against the wall here. That's going to hold it in place. You'll see right here it folded down and some of my substrate got between the layers but that's all right and you see how it's pressing down against it right here that's going to help keep its separation now adding some more substrate we're going to start to build it up I'm having about an inch in the front, and then I'm going to have it sloping up towards the back. So now, I want to build this really high in the back. Doing so, I'm going to use some bark. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in, and oh, it just barely fits. And I'm going to just kind of measure, see how high I want that to be. I think, I think somewhere around right there. That layer right there is going to be good. Now, my spot's just about in the middle. So I'm just going to take these hedge trimmers and I'm going to give it a couple good snips just to give myself a line and then I'm going to break it to give it more of a natural appearance. Granted, it's probably going to end up going in just like this. Alright, so now we're going to take my pieces I'm going to put it in and we're going to try and build, and break this off right here actually, it's a little too big. We're building a stump, and in this stump we're going to fill with dirt and have another plant cascading over the top. 
I think that's going to look good like that. Now I'm just going to take and manipulate some of this substrate around. All right, so now that I've got that where I want it to be, I'm going to take and put some substrate in. This isn't going to be an easy task, so I might just have to, yeah, just do it little, little bits at a time. So now we're going to clean it up a little bit, filling that in, and we end up with a bunch of overspray, so we're just going to kind of pull it away. All right, so now, let me see here, we've got our little little log stump. It looks pretty good. It's filled with substrate, so now I can start putting plants in there. So with this pilea in here, I just want one. So take that off. I'm just going to... Give this a couple squishes. And then, I don't know what their root structure is like. So let's dump it into my hand a little bit. Let's see if I can just pull one of these away. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, now we're going to take this croton, and I want this one. And I potted these not long ago, and I decided now I want it. So I should be able to just, ooh, well, it's a lot more of a root structure than I thought it was going to have. So this might take a little work. There we go, okay. So we got those guys out. So now, with this Hemigraphis Alternata Exotta Snow White Waffle. I'm gonna break it up a little bit, pull it apart. As soon as I, a lot of like gravel. Now we're down to this little section here, which there we go. Oh, look at that, we got a bonus. Alright, so this guy's just a little tall for what I need. So we're just gonna come in and we're just gonna cut it back uh, right there. Didn't even take all that much off, just one leaf and a little chunk of this guy's going to go back here in this back corner. Let's see what I'm going to have to do now. We're going to have to pull, some, pull it away. And then put it down in. There we go. This guy can get packed down into there like that. Butterfingers. Alright, and then this guy can get put down like that. All right, now we're gonna put this guy up in the top there. So I'll take my little stick. And we're gonna make a hole. Take my tweezers. And grab it like that. Just gonna kind of tease it around, get those roots down in it. And now we're gonna 
give it a couple of pack downs. Yeah. Right here. Okay, kind of drop him into place. Push some substrate to the side. I've decided that I want to bring this down a little bit more. So we're going to take it and snip it there. taking that much off. And I might just stick this in some water and try and propagate this. Who knows? Maybe that'll root. Now I bet you, you thought we forgot about this little guy. But we didn't. We are going to take him and I'm going to grab him with my tweezers. And he's going to go just right here. Oops. Come on. Don't be so difficult. There we go. He's going to go like that. Now, no terrarium is complete without some moss. So, I think what we're going to do is see, I've got this, these little bits of moss here. These guys I took off of some plants that came in. I just had a bunch of moss on them and this I think this stuff is going to go up on, up top so we're going to set this guys to the side and then along the bottom I think we're going to put this guy it'll give us a nice depth because it's taller and it's thick and that's about the size and shape of a piece I need anyway so to start we'll do the top pieces and I'm gonna move some of this soil back over there and I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna knock these little bits of perlite off because I don't want these I don't want these in it. And then down in. And I'll take this other piece here, take that one nugget of perlite off, and this guy's going to go down and in there. I got this other moss here. Let's put this in. Take this other little chunk here, and this can go there. So, it looks like that should be okay. Maybe one more piece right here. So let's put this guy right there. There we go. Got some focus now. So, so now, if you look down and in, you can see it's mossy. We're going to take this big guy here. going to get flopped down like that. Pushing it down and the edges. Not covering up my leaves. Let's take and give her some spray in. take our tweezers and a little bit of paper towel and clean 
off the glass. Alright you guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing, click that bell icon so you can be notified when I post a new video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see in the future. I will see you again on the next episode. Peace.